Hello friends. Good morning and good evening everyone. You are ALP here. So today we are going to discuss different uh, diploma projects for electrical and electronics engineering students. So many, stu many students requested me on LinkedIn and mob on my mobile uh, also on our Telegram group also uh, to share some uh, projects for their uh, projects and all, mainly the final year projects. So that is the main theme uh, for uh, this video. So mainly, uh, I mean, compared to the uh, graduation students, diploma students have a little bit um, lower complexity projects. Uh, so I choose in for them. So these are all the self-learning projects. Uh, so these projects are very useful for uh, final year students. Uh, select the topic from the from the following uh, list of projects, whatever we are going to discuss. So these projects are uh, latest and innovative tech, innovative in electrical, electronic, and some of our uh, embedded projects for final year students. These, these final year projects will assist students in their uh, final year uh, diploma to get uh, good results throughout it. And uh, if, if you are planning for engineering or if you are planning for any core jobs, uh, then also these projects will help you a lot uh, for clearing all the interviews or uh, for explaining any latest trends or anything it is useful for you. And you, you are also able to get a, a good understanding with, with the latest uh, in industry trends if you are aware of all these things. The list covers uh, based on the latest concepts as well as the technology. This video is intended to give the best guidance, uh, best guidance and the best electrical projects for the diploma students uh, for their uh, final years academics. Usually, mainly the electrical, electrical diploma projects are efficiently involved in uh, generators, power plants, like uh, machines and controlling motors and uh, handling power system equipment and uh, power electronic converters. So these are the, some of the areas generally uh, diploma, pro diploma projects are, will be there. And uh, so let's go into the topic guys. So electrical and uh, electronic projects for a diploma student. So the, the, we have a huge variety of projects now with us. So let's discuss one by one the project. Uh, so the first one we can say is automatic elevator by overload alert. So this is a small project here. I'm in this video. I'm not going for many bigger things or bigger uh, chunks with basic knowledge or a basic availability of small, small component itself. Uh, you are able to do all the, these projects. Uh, so for uh, this project is uh, used to use it to stop the elevator from the, from the damage that occurs due to heavy load. So the project uses uh, IR sensors for detecting uh, the number of persons uh, into, the, into the elevator and increases the counter automatically based on the number of persons. The increased counter can be displayed on the uh, some seven digit display board also locating for indicating the people, uh, how many people are there within the elevator. The project uses a buzzer to generate a uh, uh, a ring also when have they, whenever there is a heavy load, the, bu the, bu the buzzer will automatically stops whenever one person comes out of the lift. So, the, so that uh, it can be offer, operated safely. So this is one of the project guys, uh, automatic elevator by overload alert. Uh, so of course, all the things are available in the market outside, but these are the small, small projects you can start by doing, yeah. So what, what else are the topics are there? Automatic door opening based on motion. So uh, this is also related to lift or any other places. Eh? So, the pro so this project generally implements a system for uh, opening the door automatically depending upon the motion of the humans. Whenever, for example, this may be office doors also, it can be set up like that. So uh, whenever a person comes, it will automatically open. So, this product is used in offices, hotels, shopping malls to open the door automatically by sensing a person near the door. This can be achieved by using, uh, we have PIR sensors by detecting uh, infrared energy from the live body. This signal can be uh, pro processed and the door is opened as well as closed depending upon the requirement or depending upon the need. So when a person reaches the range of the sensor, then it detects the person and uh, sends a signal to open the door. There will be a small motor and uh, 
it gives it opens the door it and and also it closes the door in a, in a precise time delay if there is a no motion as a door is at the door so further this project can be improved by including a counter device so that a number of persons uh, whoever uh, entered into the this, so it can be tracked so that the at, at any time how many persons are there we can track it and tv remote based controlling of a dish uh, dish position this also we can do uh, so for example this project is used to position a dish at an exact angle to get the maximum signal through a tv remote so the project can be built with a normal standard 8051 family microcontroller by interfacing with uh, two small motors so that microcontrollers can generate commands to control the direction of uh, disk movements in vertical as well as horizontal by using the ir remote uh, so the transmission of uh, coded signals can be done from the transmitter to receiver and the receiver decodes the signal and transmits it to the microcontroller to start uh, to start the motor to provide the movements uh, using motor device motor driver ic so the, the the code used by the tv remote is rc5 code and this code can be recognized through a microcontroller for generating suitable signals so this is also one of the very small project guys so it seems very interesting if you are doing these things practically and uh, what is the next project so the next project is a uh, detection of overheat machines by alert so uh, this heat becomes a uh, very uh, risky or uh, dangerous to the people whenever it is overheat uh, if you are uh, unknowingly are touching anything it becomes a uh, danger for us so this is one of the good project this project detects the temperature of a device when it gets uh, overheated so this project is used where machine get overheated like uh, industries and factories so the sensor used in this system is a digital temperature sensor for detecting temperature and uh, transmits the data towards the microcontroller so further this microcontroller processes the data and the transmits the temperature to display on the lcd screen if you have any lcd screen on the screen we can display the temperature so based on that we can uh, uh, just ensure the load this temperature can be controlled through four push buttons and the power supply can be provided uh, to this uh, supply by using a 12 volt small transformer if the system increase the, the system temperature increases to set so we can uh, give any alarm or anything so that uh, uh, the necessary things can be taken care un unnecessary loads can be avoided so these things are required guys so these are mainly useful for uh, rice mill or any uh, where huge number of uh, small 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 machines are there in those uh, at a time all loads may not be operated but uh, yeah, so this is one of the application uh, project guys for you. So what is the next project we have with us? So the next project we have is a vehicle detection to street lights. So uh, this is also one of the wonderful project. For example, this project implements a system to control the street light based on vehicle detection. By using this project, the energy can energy conserved through the energy whatever it is there conserved through the detecting the vehicle movement on highways to turn on the block of a street light in front of it and uh, turn off uh, so switch on whatever it is behind it uh, so there in india it may not be that much useful because most of the times traffic will be there but there are some cases uh, uh, so so there are some cases otherwise in farmhouse or some places Whenever a um, vehicle is coming at the time itself, all the vehicles in front of it can be turned on. And when, when a vehicle goes out, then everything behind it can be closed off. In offices or some, some places also, we can establish this. So that throughout the day or throughout the night, there is no need of uh, lights, lights to glow. So that we can save a lot, a lot of power. A unit saved is a unit generated. That's right. Yeah. So what what else what else the different projects we have? So we have a telephone router. So what is this telephone router concept? So this is another project. The telephone router can be implemented using small microprocessor, and it is capable of uh, routing telephone calls in a different directions through the switches. So for example, if you have a CM assistant will be there. So 
if every phone ringing to the cm general sometimes uh, assistant will be picking and he is checking the call and then he will divert the call to the cm if it is required necessary so this tutor is extremely useful where the density of telephone is very less uh, so uh, this is also some uh, some other applications uh, so there is this router plays a le- a plays a, a key role in routing incoming calls by placing them at uh, different locations from master to slave. Further, this device does not permit the location of the slave to build on outgoing card. So this is uh, another pro- another project, guys. So here, most of the projects I am discussing are not that much big. So small, small devices, electronic devices, sensors, small, small things you can purchase and you can start building it. Uh, uh, if you have any questions or comments or anything then you can co- comment in comment section i will ready to clarify you and i, I am ready to connect with you with uh, some concerned or help helping persons for you also yeah so what is the next project we have the next project we have is a cellular voting machine based on microcontroller it's a uh, very interesting right <laughs> yeah let's discuss it so nowadays the usage of uh, electronic devices is increasing Similarly, the devices like uh, EVMs are used for voting, voting purpose also. So we may, we may have so many news about uh, EVMs, uh, EVM tampering, so, so many things are there. So it's, it is also one of the good projects. If it is successful, I mean, if it is uh, with, with good idea, very small cost, everything, then if you are going to become a very famous person, particularly in India, where more, more voters are there, more people, more machines are required. Yeah, so here particularly the proposed system is implemented, namely a cellular voting machine using a microcontroller. The system includes uh, two units, namely the master and a voting. So the voting unit can be arranged anywhere and the master can be arranged uh, within a control room. The, this unit mainly includes uh, a DTMF decoder that produces a DTMF, uh, that produces a DTMF uh, tone and can be sent to the master unit using a FM transmitter. So we have many projects with the DTMF also. So those also we are going to discuss uh, in the coming days or coming uh, videos. So here the master unit includes a DTMF decoder, uh, FM receiver, a display unit, and a small microcontroller. And the DTMF tone from the voting unit can be obtained through the receiver and is decoded and specific functions are carried out by microcontroller and then it is displayed. So this is also a very small thing guys. I hope uh, this is a this is also a good project for you people mainly the electronics people and the electrical people who are interested on these electronic things. And uh, next one, next one is a barcode decoder using a microcontroller. So we know uh, about shopping canal everywhere barcoding takes place. So the barcode decoder using microcontroller can be used to decode, uh, decode it. So this was the primary barcode uh, symbology for encoding alpha numeric uh, uh, data strings. This code is used in many industries for their uh, requirements of labels. The decoders like uh, HP barcoders are used in batches as well as barcoded cards to give an out to give an outstanding scanning performance. So there are many places, a lot of items will be there. So the, in those places, they will use this barcoding system. That also you can do a small project on it. So I, one more thing you can do is you can visit any nearby nearby small industries where manufacturing is there. We can observe what are the different items or elements that they are keep on using. So you can do some barcoding process there. So everything is countable then onwards. Whenever a barcoding, a barcoded based card is swiped, then the slot reader provides a stream of pulses through the changing weight, the pulses through changing weights. So the count equivalent to these pulse weights is stored within the RAM. Later, the, the, the Intel Corporation implemented it to evaluate the pulse width which are stored using character set and the output on the decoded can be demonstrated to the LCD. So we can display it somewhere. So this, this is one of the another project guys. So what else we have now? So we have a, a smooth startup single page induction motor. So this is another project. So what we, what we can do here, what is about, what the project is about. 
So this project implements a single phase induction motor for a smooth start. This project main this project main goal is uh, to start the motor smoothly. So how how we can do this project? So mainly it increases the voltage to operate the motor very smoothly because of the interrupt with the voltage supply at begin the individual motor may get damaged and uh, in some cases the motor windings also can damage therefore this project mainly targets to provide smooth start using SCR firing control concept so th this is one of the project guys so still now we discussed the many abstracts many abstracts we discussed so there are so many things. So from uh, from now onwards, uh, we, are, we are going to discuss many titles, uh, project titles. And if you are interested, you can comment it. I will provide you the abstraction, the idea of for this project also. And in the list, we are also going to discuss some of the small small uh, small small uh, descriptions about uh, each each thing here. So we have. Uh, the first part, the first project here is a uh, power voltage under voltage protection. So this plays important role for on the transmission lines or distribution lines, or sometimes wherever battery storage systems are there. So we can check uh, whenever power voltage is there, we can take some precautions uh, by uh, disconnecting any power packing, correcting equipments or anything. And uh, whenever under voltage is there, we can add some uh, voltage boosters in the circuit. These things we can do. So this is one of the projects and another project is the wireless power transfer in the 3D space. So this, this project plays a major role. Why? Because uh, there are uh, so many Wi-Fi uh, services are there. I mean, like that, there are... Uh, uh, till now, we discussed the many electrical projects. So uh, now, it, now we are going to discuss uh, electronic related projects also. Of course, uh, it is everything is for electrical and electronics engineering students only. So mainly these projects, uh, if you have any questions or anything till now, you can comment in comment section. I will make uh, we as, uh, things clear. I will try to help you. Uh, if you need any further help on any particular topic also, you, uh, you can ask me. Yeah, so gas and uh, fire accidents. Uh, so uh, these are these things uh, you can detect it. So mainly, there are many places uh, these uh, fire accidents will happen, the gas leak will happen. So this project that uh, you can do uh, for implement a system for avoiding gas as well as the fire accidents by detecting these leakages. So the proposed system includes the, both the sensors like a fire and as well as a gas for the purpose of detection. Once the system detects the leakage of gas, then it turns off the gas supply to avail to to avoid a more gas leakage and uh, immediately gives an alert for a concerned person with via SMS through GSM. Similarly, this also uses for fire sensor to detect fire and informs the authorized person so that uh, he takes the act required action. Mainly, this gas connection related is uh, there are in India there are many places where uh, you know, gas connection is supplied through for piping piping arrangement instead of cylinders. Uh, so piping through piping uh, gas connection is there. So in those cases, uh, it is mostly useful so that a uh, huge amount of uh, gas leakage or damage can be avoided. And uh, mainly, uh, the, I have some uh, bad, uh, not bad experience, good experience only with uh, this uh, fire accident at, at USA. I will share those experience also in the coming days. And the indication of brake failure for four wheeler. This is also one, one of the, uh, good project guys you can try this project also and uh, biomedical data transmission system so this also one of the good project visual ac mains voltage indicator so whatever uh, voltage whether voltage is there or not uh, you have you can check it and you can give some uh, a small indication uh, like uh, with by using some different colors uh, you can you can do that project also and uh, intelligent uh, automatic uh, three phase shifter system so this this also you can do and the detection of a car car over speed so whenever car is car is running at a very high speed you can give some alarm or you can give any small small things so that a small message or something so he can he can be he can he can remember that and i can he uh, can go a little bit slower so that he can be protected so a railway level crossing gate operation remotely by android 
so generally most of the railway crossings uh, we have uh, we have railway gate right generally uh, when people is going to operate it by most of the times uh, and nowadays like, they have some push buttons and handle operated machines so uh, you you can think of this also by using uh, any android app related so uh, so th th these are the some of the projects guys so we have a list now here so i'm just going to discuss this uh, project so that uh, you can you can do you can uh, choose any one of the project for your diploma project <laughs> yeah so so biomedical data transmission system with a central monitoring and controlling system so this also you can do and uh, microcontroller based digital card dashboard with a data recording facility so that also you can choose the project gas and fire accident we just discussed the operation of dam based dam based on the level of water so what is the water level so this is like a water level detector so you can use the same project for uh, your uh, tank water tank so uh, if water water is uh, water level is already reached full then you can turn off the motor or you can give alarm this process also you can do and uh, health and the position of a soldier tracking system alcohol detection and det detecting alarm so these things also you can do and uh, attendance management with a uh, face recognition system so most of the companies uh, already have these facilities uh, uh, some companies still using a normal punching card punch card or like that so you can you can uh, it, this is like a face locking or a face on in our uh, in our normal mobiles so and another one is a bidirectional visitors counter so this also you can do whenever visitor comes uh, so uh, same thing he has to enter the time or something there so it will automatically tracks the thing and indication of brake failure that uh, we already discussed it and uh, function generator yeah we discussed this also a uh, fuse a tube light blower without uh, any choke uh, without any choke uh, you can do some uh, no, uh, tube light blower so already most of the things are available in the market but you can give a try on that project also and uh, you can do single phase multi inverter uh, sign uh, sign pulse width modulation with a personal computer interface and the olm this also you can do and intelligent automatic uh, three phase shifter three phase uh, shifter system that also you can do visual ac mains voltage advance in renewable energy sources so there are many advantages in renewable energy sources that also you can do and uh, there are uh, there, there are some wireless uh, petroleum tank monitor so the, that that thing also you can you can do some project on it uh, multi power utilizer maximum demand indicator and uh, power factor indicator those things also you can do some small small thing at them like projects like that and so uh, we can do some projects on a sensorless uh, speed control of a uh, active active current induction motor using microcontroller this project also we can do and a temperature adjustable heating system by using power electronic devices this is wonderful project actually and uh, weather reporting based on gsm uh, this uh, we can do heartbeat sensor based detection of a heart attack uh, so based on previous data or uh, existing uh, surveys and all we can uh, set up some uh, protocols in the program pro in the program and uh, based on that uh, we can give some alarm or anything and uh, authentication of exam hall using fingerprint uh, so whoever persons comes to the, uh, the there are have some fraud some fraud are happening right so you can do this also and uh, voting system based on a fingerprint so they are, they, this is a uh, we already discussed it and rfid based uh, billing system so this rfid is a uh, uh, rfid so th th this is this plays a major role in the billing system and uh, the door unlocked system using gsm and a detection of a car over speed arduino based home automation and incoming phone ringer or phone ring flasher and uh, electronic eye controller security system android based remotely uh, remotely programmable sequential load operation home automation by uh, android application based remote control and uh, remote operated domestic appliances controlled by android application arm cortex uh, and a vehicle theft uh, location and uh, giving us a, so and giving a, indication to the owner by message or something so the, the so we have a few more projects guys for today so just uh, let's go to these projects so that uh, you can uh, you can uh, think and uh, you can plan uh, whatever project you want for your thing 
and pick and place uh, robotic arm and movement control by android wirelessly and uh, railway level crossing gate operation remote by android so, uh, so some of the projects were repeated i just mentioned for continuity and uh, re remote ac power control by android application with the lcd display so that also you can do cell phone based uh, dtmf controlled uh, garage door opening system there there are many places mainly in the usa so in the whenever we are from home um, from there itself uh, otherwise, whenever we are in car, we can simply open the uh, on and off the garage door so that we can go in, go into the garage or go out of the garage. So this project also we can do display of uh, dialed telephone numbers on a seven segment display. So whatever numbers we dialed, we can be shown shown on a display. Generally, these things are uh, mostly helpful for landline or somewhere. And uh, vehicle tracking by uh, GPS and GSM, this also we can do. And uh, flash flood intimation over GSM with uh, user programmable number features to the station master. <coughs> this also you can do. And uh, tampered energy meter monitoring. So th uh, there are so many things uh, uh, happening, right? Like uh, uh, crime and all. So th this. And, uh, wireless message communication between uh, two com two computers uh, so we can uh, do this also and a unique office communication system using rf and uh, density based traffic signal with a remote uh, override in emergency so if more people are there so the signal can be uh, used uh, so like that also you can use metal detector uh, uh, robotic vehicle so this these things uh, you can do and uh, rf controlled robotic vehicles rfid based uh, authentication and uh, security access control system voice controlled robotic vehicle so uh, the and you have a three digit uh, industrial object control auditorium management system so these are all uh, some of the project guys i hope uh, the the details are informative the list the project list are informative if you have any questions or comments or anything, then comment in the comment section. And uh, if you are benefited and if you enjoyed the content, if it is if the video is useful to you, then do share to your friends and uh, dear ones and uh, subscribe to this channel and uh, like hit like button and uh, do comment it so that uh, whenever uh, um, well, you are always welcome for uh, coming back and watching the further videos. Yeah, thank you guys. Thanks for supporting. Bye. We will meet in next video. So we have a wireless power transfer in 3D space. Most of the mobile chargers and electric vehicle chargers, everything nowadays uh, and is more is planning towards this uh, wireless power transfer. So I, I already made a couple of videos also on this topic. You can watch it if you are interested on this channel. So this is also one of the good idea to just demonstrate the model so that uh, you can get better understanding and you also can get job opportunities in these sectors. And you have line follower robot using microcontroller. So that also you can do. And uh, radar data acquisition system, this product also you can do. And uh, DTMF based, uh, DTMF based home, home automation system. In the home, there are uh, so many projects are available so you can you can just uh, think of that uh, that also for a better understanding or a better uh, visualization of all the things in the house with a single mouse or a single mobile phone you can control everything that projects also you can check it and uh, you can do function generator based on frequency counter so this is also one of the project self switching the power supply and uh, another project is the led based automatic uh, emergency light so this one also we can you can design it electronic uh, soft starter for a three phase induction motor generally for three phase induction motor regularly we see three three point starter four point starter like that but uh, you can go for electronic uh, soft starter also which slowly induces uh, the power into the motor so another project is a high voltage dc by um, uh, max generator principle so this is also we can do and uh, wireless power transfer project we already discussed it and uh, solar power charge controller so so from solar uh, whatever charging charging is there to battery so some small circuit you can design it for controlling the power controlling the voltage and current levels uh, so that uh, the battery can be smoothly charged 
so that uh, it, there is no problem, no harm to the battery at any point of time. And uh, you can do four quadrant DC motor control without microcontroller. Without using microcontroller, you can do this uh, project also so that the uh, motor uh, operation in all the directions, uh, you can do it. These are mainly useful for electric vehicle also. Yeah, so another another one is the time relay based the relay operate, operated load. So, the, so the, there are certain projects uh, where you will be giving some certain time delay. For example, say some cutting machines uh, or some punching machines. So what they will do for every five seconds, they will just punch it just punch it. So like that, there are certain machines. Uh, so you can just start uh, developing those uh, time delay based relay operated load. And uh, there are some touch controlled loads, which also just based on touch, it will uh, it will sense. So those also, you can start exploring the projects. Power voltage or under voltage tripping mechanism. So earlier we just seen for protection. Now it can simply tripping mechanism also, you can uh, try for it uh, and uh, you have a step up 6 volt DC to 10 volt uh, using triple five timer. So there are small, uh, small circuits, uh, IC circuits, for us, uh, integrated circuits. Uh, so you can use these uh, small circuits for uh, boosting the voltage from small 6 volts to 10 volts. These are the small, small project guys. So uh, main operated LED light. So mains up, so the uh, small LED light connected to the mains, uh, the, these things also you can do. And a phase sequence checker for a three phase supply. In three phase supply by sensing uh, all the parameters, uh, the phase sequence that you can check whether it is RYB, RYB, or YRB, or whatever it is there. So there are 34, the three combinations are available. So you can just check that phase sequence, whether it is uh, as per designed signal or not, just for indication. So that uh, that can be used for in big motors, uh, so for connecting properly. So otherwise what happens so the, the motor rotation will be in the reverse direction. So that is one thing guys. And the next project is uh, auto selection of uh, any available phase in three phase supply system. So for, uh, there are some certain cases we have uh, three supply three supply systems. Uh, I mean master and uh, I mean uh, we have two supplies. If one supply is a uh, failed means we can use another backup supply. So it will check uh, what to choose auto selection. Whatever it is available, available supply it will choose it. Yeah. So. Next is a high voltage DC up to 2 kV from AC by using diode and capacitors in a multiplier voltage circuit. So this project also you can do induction motor protection system that also you can do some project on it because there are a different speed protection you can do and the heat protection you can do. So uh, mainly these things uh, you can do on induction motor uh, at the initial, initial levels. So uh, what else the projects we have now? So we have the projects like a three-phase fault analysis with the auto reset on a temporary, temporary fault and a permanent trip otherwise. So this project also you can do. And a star delta starter using a relays and adjustable electronic timer for induction motor. Uh, this is also you can do first initially, it may be in star and uh, after a certain little bit time, we can move switch over to the delta based on a timer. That also you can do and uh, Another one is another project is related to the same induction motor, AC PWM control for induction motor, pulse width modulation control. That project also you can do for a firm speed control and everything. And uh, password based circuit breaker. So whatever circuit breakers we have, if we enter this password, then only it will open. I mean, it will close or open. So those things also you can start uh, developing or trying the projects. Uh, we have DTMF based uh, load control system. So DTMF, uh, DTMF is in a, uh, so as I already told, uh, it is a list of projects are there. I will discuss in the next uh, videos. And you have a XB module based uh, remote monitoring of three parameters and transformer generator, uh, generator health. So we can, uh, you can just check this project also. Uh, we have industrial temperature controller in many industries, process industries where uh, temperature plays a major role in furnaces, ovens. Uh, you can check the temperature and you can, you can have some small circuit for controlling the temperature like a dimmer by using some firing angle or voltage control. You can do, you can do that also, that project also. 
and ultra fast acting electronic circuit breaker so nowadays if if you want to operate the mesa circuit breaker it will take at least 2 to 3 or uh, 2 to 5 seconds right just we have to go to uh, go and take the handle and we have to move it right so by the time we have the things all the things where will have bad things will have, will be happen like a fall and all so you can use a very fast fast acting electronic uh, switches for operating circuit breaker that project also you can do and uh, underground cable fault uh, distance locator underground cable fault distance locator so there are uh, certain underground cables uh, they will get some uh, fault or some leakage current it will draw some damage may happen so at which distance uh, that uh, the fault happened for that cable so you can use some uh, distance locator for, for you can do some projects on that also and there are some projects for detecting power grid synchronization failure and uh, sensing a frequency or a voltage uh, beyond the acceptable limits this project also you can do guys so we have a bldc motor speed control with a rpm display that also you can do and and you can also see a predefined speed control of bldc motor that project also you can do and uh, there are uh, uh, disk position control by ir remote i think this we already discussed it so we have a, a solar powered uh, auto irrigation system so this system you can develop a pc based the electrical load control so this also you can use it. just do some demo and the power saver for industries and the commercial establishments so there are so many industries that which using uh, general industries means if they will use power right so power factor improvement or energy savings are uh, using better uh, better lightning controls or better uh, variable frequency drive technology or so many process are there so you can do some of these things also like power saving concepts and uh, optimum energy management system so this also falls under the same thing this projects also you can do and there are some programmable switching control for uh, industrial automation in a uh, repetitive nature of work so whenever we have repetitive things at the place uh, so you can you can do some project also on these things uh, so uh, one more thing is the energy meter building with the load control over a gsm with a user programmable number feature by pic microcontroller so this is going to be a more popular thing in the coming days like whatever uh, we have prepared sim cards in our mobiles like that electricity energy meters also going to come so already it is there in smart meters smart meters in most of the places so the you can you can try on that aspect also and uh, so what else we have uh, good projects for us today so we have a bidirectional rotation of induction motor with a remote control device just by using remote control you can uh, uh, reverse the direction of the induction motor that also you can do minimizing a penalty in a industrial power consumption by engaging a apfc unit so in most of the industries whenever power factor comes below 0.8 or 0.85 whatever it is agreed then they will do some they will impose some penalties on the industries uh, so that uh, they will improve the power factor so you can you can do some auto power factor correction so it, it is a bank of capacitors it will automatically switch on and switch off into the circuit so that the power factor and the voltage profile everything will be improved and the another project can be uh, you can do like a gsm based the monthly monthly electricity energy billing and sms upon G, gsm with a user programmable feature so you can message to the user so this is the bill for you you can just pay like uh, we are getting messages from sims right airtel or jio or bsn you will recharge will end tomorrow please recharge to avoid so like that you can send some reminders also to the people so based on historical data i mean fast uh, so fast uh, fast few year a few months a few years how, how what is the our energy utilization based on that we can just warn the user i mean i mean we can give warning to the user hey, your bill is going to i mean your prepaid electricity meter is going to expire so you have to recharge it otherwise there won't be power for you like that you can send a message by tracking all the features so this can also be a project for you guys so what else we have <laughs> the project list is very huge 
the main yeah, the main intention here is uh, if you are going through all the list uh, whatever thing you feel comfortable you can select uh, that project and uh, speed control uh, you need a uh, design for a dc motor this also you can do and uh, so th there are like a uh, solar solar powered led street light with uh, auto intensity control so this project also you can start doing and uh, so there are some uh, auto power supply control from uh, four different sources solar mains generator inverter to ensure no break so this is also one of the wonderful project most of the companies are trying to offer they will have solars and uh, they will have uh, some main supply so from uh, electricity department and they will have some their generator set uh, for uh, emergency power supply and they will have battery backup from which uh, they can take a uh, I mean, from which the through inverter they can um, convert the DC to AC. So from all these supplies, uh, so you can choose the optimum way of uh, choosing so that uh, your the price and everything will be low. Some people are going for wind also. Generally, if you want around one megawatt capacity, all the features. Uh, it is a hybrid system. This project also you can just uh, try to demonstrate it with your. Uh, all the projects, whatever I am discussed, I discussed it just now. So it can be like a single person. It is generally good if two or more more people are together doing these uh, these uh, projects. So then it gives a best understanding. So eight zero five or microcontroller projects also there. You can go through the, the that projects also uh, so that uh, you can do uh, many things in the in the future. Yeah. So. What else, guys? Now we have electronic projects. 